Happening now, a vigil to remember the three victims of a deputy-involved accident and other tragedies is happening in downtown Charleston. News News' Katie Augustine joins us live from the Custom House. And Katie, the vigil is being held by a group of activists who are calling for justice in that deputy-involved accident that happened back on Mother's Day. Brendan Carolyn Wright, and in addition to those activists, family members of Stefania Dantzler and her two daughters, Shanice and Miranda, all spoke publicly today for the first time. They say it's been a very long, nearly three weeks since the incident, with no new information released. My sister and my two nieces is one of a kind. Uh, sweet people. This was the scene on Highway 17 South on Mother's Day. They truly miss. A crash involving a Charleston County Sheriff's deputy claimed the lives of Stefania Dantzler and her two daughters, Shanice and Miranda Dantzler Williams. Now, nearly three weeks later, the family is still looking for answers. And when that was my sister and two niece, and it's like, ain't nothing me said, nothing me talked about it, and we don't have no report of nothing. One concern in particular is the lack of an accident report, which would show who's at fault. When asked about that, a representative for CCSO pointing to Highway Patrol, which is the investigating agency. Now we understand the state troopers are going to take a little longer. The May team is going to get out there. But a simple FR10 form just indicating who contributed and who caused this accident, that's done the day of an accident. It doesn't take three weeks to get that. The deputy involved in the crash is on paid administrative leave for the extent of the investigation. But community activists say action needs to be taken. What we want is that Sheriff's Deputy Emily Pelletier be terminated immediately, charged immediately, and arrested immediately. When I leave my mom's house and I ask my mom, does she want me to bring anything back? And she tells me, if you could bring them three back, you know, I don't need nothing else. Now, I just did get a call from Highway Patrol recently. They told me they are working to make contact with the family so that they can give them that accident form. But I'm told the crash is still under investigation, so no more information will be made public at this time. Live in downtown Charleston, I'm Katie Augustine. Count on two.